Good day, good morning, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. Welcome to Dallas Twilight Tactics. Well, this is going to be the last one. Conquest, Sector 5. For Conquest number 7, 8, and 9, a.k.a. September, October, and November. If you're seeing this sometime in the future, this may not be relevant to you. Let's get into it. So, in this video, we're going to go over uh, what teams I use, what teams I recommend to s briskly make your way through Conquest Sector 5. Uh, oddly enough, Sector 5 seemed easier to me than Sector 4. Uh, perhaps because I used JMKs for the majority of the whole thing. Uh, let's go over the feats real quick, and then we'll go over the boss feats, and then we'll run, run through the teams you need to uh, use to get them. Now, Reeling Blow. Attempt to inflict days 40 times. Note that it says attempt. You don't actually have to land it. That one's going to be fairly easy to get with two teams. Win at least 20 battles without losing any units. That's self-explanatory. That should be fairly easy as well. Requiring a little bit of repetition. Let's blow something up. All right. Defeat 40 units with Bad Batch allies. So 40 kills with Bad Batch. If you have Bad Batch, then that's going to be really easy. We'll go over why. Marked for death. Inflict death mark 10 times. So... Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that as of the time of this recording, the death mark from Darth Revan is bugged. It will not count toward uh, feat progression. You will have to use the death mark from your death trooper on your Imperial Trooper team, but you don't have to run them with Imperial Troopers. Brood Warfare. Win 14 battles with a full squad of Geos. Now, if you don't have all Relic Geos, that might be fairly difficult, uh, but if you do then it'll be fairly easy and we'll show you which node to farm on and then grand victory defeat at least 100 enemies that's self-explanatory easy to do just kill 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 till your heart's content all right let's go over the boss feats really quick as well so jedi master kenobi is the final boss of conquest seven eight nine sector five thanks cg only the hardest person in the game and it's a hard team too um, first of all he gets a, a cool modifier whenever the allied leader is damaged all of his allies gain 10% offense stacking at the start of his turn he dispels all debuffs on his team and all buffs on your team and then whenever one of his allies drops below 50% health he gets a free turn which can't be prevented the first time the leader is defeated all enemies recover 50% health. Okay, so that's thanks. If we do manage to kill him, we'll get a little bit of health and reduce cooldowns. But you're not going to want to hit him until the end. He's got some feats which uh, aren't too bad. Gain defense up 20 times. Now, there's some cheeky ways to get around this. And please be aware that this is not accurate. 15 times will do the trick. I have confirmed that. Guarded Assault, complete the battle without losing a unit with one attacker. If you have Jedi Master Kenobi, it's very easy. Uh, Gaff's team also works as well. Deal at least 200,000 damage to an enemy in a single hit. Uh, you can get that through Cat, or you can also get that through the Gas team as well. But uh, the Gas team, you might lose a unit, so good luck. And then attack out of turn at least 30 times. Also, you can also get that with Gas. Uh, but you can also get that with JMK. Fairly easy, so. Let's go... And look at the teams needed to beat that as you see that I was uh, I'm, I'm still in progression Obviously since it's just day six of conquest. I am not a whaley 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 well I haven't uh, blown through it all the way. I'm just going back and getting all the feats now. I Do highly recommend you guys create tabs for each sector which will keep your teams clear and straight All right, so the geos obviously this is my geo team. You see poggles relic level one that gets the job done. Now, if you f can find a node where your troopers are going to work, by all means, exploit it. Uh, but I found that um, I was losing some battles, and in order to take the RNG out of win or loss, I decided, well, y you don't actually need a full team of troopers to get de Death Troopers Death Mark off, and as well, 
on some battles with the Bounty Hunter nodes, uh, Boba would get a AoE ability block off, and then Death Trooper couldn't Death Mark even if he wanted to. Uh, so I decided, screw it. Uh, I'm just going to put Death Trooper underneath of a Kylo team. Hide him back there. Plus, Kylo has that nice little swipe AoE that clears debuffs. Kylo can get the kill real quick, and then Death Trooper can Death Mark. So if your troopers are top-notch and you're going to go first... By all means, use your troopers, but if you want to ensure you get the death marks off, uh, just put them under Kylo like me. Alright, so Bad Batch. You need Bad Batch kills, right? If you have Jedi Master Kenobi, this is a very, very, very easy feat for you to get. Jedi Master Kenobi will keep your Bad Batch alive. Uh, if you do not have Jedi Master Kenobi, I have tested this. If your Bad Batch are also well geared, you can run them under a Padme lead. That works. I haven't tested out uh, Hunter lead Bad Batch with Shock T, but I, I am going to assume that it will also work. Let me know if you try that. But um, if you have really bad Bad Batch, and I'm going to credit Bit Dynasty on this one. He was running Padme lead with a Gear 8 Echo and a Gear 8 Tech, and then Cat, Commander Sokotano, and then Ray. Basically, it was keep the Bad Batch alive until you can get kills. He was getting about, what, three a battle, I do believe, but he was still getting the kills. Tech can hide Echo, so they'll be all both hidden under stealth. And then you can just keep them alive, lifeblooding with Ray. They're going to get uh, Courage stacks, which is going to translate to damage from Padme. And then Cat is also going to be there to add extra survivability. So if you do not have well-geared Bad Batch or a Kenobi, that'll give you guys some options. All right, so go get your 40 kills with Bad Batch however you can. Now... The boss feats. Um, so yes, we discussed the day's feats. Um, this team, whether or not, whatever kind of uh, configuration you run it in the Bad Batch team, uh, Echo also has unresistible days. So you're going to be getting five days right off the bat, possibly ten per battle with your Echo. So that's another way you're going to get your day's feet. If you do not want to use troopers, if you just want to use this team and ensure you get those death marks out on the field, you're going to get your days this way through Echo. Right? Flawless victory. We already talked about that. Self-explanatory. Uh, Bad Batch kills. Mark for death. We discussed that. And then Brood Warfare. We discussed that. Geos. I hope your Geos are well geared. Uh, and then now we're getting into boss kills. So, if you have Jedi Master Kenobi and Cat. I took in this team right here at the bottom. This is uh, my arena team. And this was able to get the 200,000 points of damage with Cat's uh, Annihilate. That easily got that damage. And I think somewhere else in the battle, too, um, you can ramp up her damage and she'll hit for almost a million. So you're going to get it with Commander Soka if you have her under JMK. And then since there's an attacker, if you finish with everybody live, you get that feat as well. This team can get the uh, attack out of turn 30 times. Now, if you do not have Cat, if you do not have Jedi Master Kenobi, uh, you can run a full Gas 501st feat. Uh, I'm going to recommend you're going to need those discs that regenerate protection. And then um, there's a couple other discs. I'm going to reference uh, Skeltrix's video. I'll put it in the description. He goes over exactly how to get the feats using the 501st Gas team with that. Now... This team right here, for the defense up, you need to get defense up 15 times. If you have Jedi Master Kenobi, again, Barris Offy does defense up on her heel. Now, if you can time it right, because the Jedi Master Kenobi team uh, opposing you is going to try to steal away all your debuffs. If you can time it right, you can pop uh, defense up with Barris Offy. Or Plo Koon. Plo Koon also has a AoE defense up, so that'll be 5 and 5. And then Grandmaster Yoda, if you can time it so that the buffs are on him when it's his turn, spread the buffs. There's your 15 defense up. Uh, you do not have to actually win the battle in order to get that feat. Now, this team right here was also on Skeltrix video, which will be linked in the description. So, Old Ben... Has an AoE defense up. Barris Offy has an AoE defense up. It's the same kind of strategy. So I have the Leader's Resolve um, data disc. Now, it was timed right so that Jedi Master Kenobi went first, then Revan, P 
passed the turn meter or swapped the turn meter over to Old Ben. Old Ben did his AoE defense up. Grandmaster Yoda immediately spread those buffs. So there's 10. And then Barris Afi did her heal, which gave you the last 15. So this team, it's not going to win. You're going to die a horrible, fiery death. But this team, if you have it, will get you that feat. Uh, again, like I said, this is referenced in Skeltrix's video, which is referenced in the description. All right, now let's go back to Conquest, and we'll talk about the Geonosian uh, kills. You need 14 kills of Geos in Sector 5. So, um, I unfortunately do not have uh, any energy to show you guys, but if you have at least uh, Geos that are comparable to mine, this is the team you want to go against, the mini boss. So, there are no AoEs on this team. It is all single target damage. Now, Ezra and uh, this Relic 8 uh, Fulcrum are going to hit really, really, really hard. So, make sure your Geonosian Brute Alpha is really, really fast. Because she will whirlwind on your Brute and kill him. But, if you can uh, survive through all that... You can basically use Spy to pick off Ezra, pick off Fulcrum, and get your kills that way. So this is the node that I'm farming, and I do not believe I've had a loss. I think I've lost uh, Soldier once. Uh, Fulcrum got off, or Ezra got off and went too many times and was able to uh, kill my Soldier. But for the most part, it's been very, very successful. I basically kill these two, and then I put it on auto to kill these other three. So this is what I recommend using or farming on to get your Geo kills. Now, as per the uh, SLKR death mark, take your pick, right? Any of these are going to work. I think I even used this Phoenix node right here. Basically, it's SLKR. Kill somebody, death mark, continue on with your day. Rinse and repeat nine more times, all right? So, uh, full disclosure, let's show you what data disks I am running. Now, again, never needed to use Massively Overpowered. I do believe that's what, that's what it's called. Yeah, never used it once. And as you see on here, I have all green and gray disks. Conquest, in its infinite wisdom, decided not to give me any really good disks. So, blues and greens is, is it for me. So, Defensive Formation 2. This is the one that makes the gas team go. Whenever an ally attacks that turn, all allies recover 4% protection. Now, having that allows your gas to just to stay standing and pretty much not kneel. Uh, ruthless offense. Very nice. When an enemy falls below 100% health, all allies gain 16% offense. Now, that could be five, al or five enemies as well, so you can get 80% damage in total. Right? Or offense. Entrenched. Entrenched is always nice. A little bit of buffer at the beginning at the start of a counter. And I never ever saw... I never even saw a blue entrenched disc. Thanks, CG. Opportunistic support. Three. I've got two of these. Whenever an ally attacks at a turn, all allies gain six health. So they'll be gaining 12% health in my case. Really, really handy. I like that, especially for Geos when the brood attacks... Or the brute attacks out of turn tops up the health and protection of uh, my bugs, keeps them alive. Stacking Fervor, don't really know if this was really great whenever an ally attacks that turn, all allies gain 4% offense. It sounds good on paper, it's a 2 dot disc, I wish it would have been blue, but uh, a lot of the teams I'm using uh, attack at a turn, so I found it really beneficial. Leader's Resolve is a must, you guys, if you see a blue one, do not walk, run straight to your clicker clicker and buy it immediately. Again, this is opportunistic support three. I told you I had three. And then I have cost of commissions uh, for burning at the start. Actually, can't comes in kind of handy sometimes. And then ruthless swiftness, one dot. When an enemy falls below 100% health, you gain a bunch of turn meter. Right? So pretty much, except for these two right here, all one dot mods. All one dot mods. That's the, what I pretty much ran with the entire conquest through all five sectors all right so that's about it that's about wraps it up if you have any questions about any of the team comps let's go back i will show you them really quickly screenshot if you need to so geos deathmark team days and bad batch kill team defense uh up team for the boss feet uh another possible defense up team for the boss feet 
and uh, massive damage. Uh, win with an attacker with no any losses. 30 attacks that turn. And if you don't have those, then run gas 501st. And please, before you do, reference Skeltrix video in the description. All right. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please put them in the comments section or click on the Discord link in the description. Pop into my Discord and give me uh, a holla. I will answer any question you may have. Now, that is all. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you fine, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.